this will be the last devotional of 2021. Today is uh, ha New Year's Eve. It's the 31st of December. And um, as I was trying to think of what to do for this last one of the year, I actually waited this week just to put it on the last day. I was thinking about how people go into the new year, and sometimes they have these expectations, make resolutions and other things. And, you know, sometimes when I hear about it, it reminds me of that statement we sometimes say um, about people. We say, do you know what the definition of insanity is? To do the same thing, expect a different outcome. I think sometimes we go into the new year thinking somehow it's going to be different, even if we do nothing different. And I think I, I want to encourage us today, if we want to go deeper in our walk with the Lord, we have to change, perhaps, what we're doing. We have to spend more time in His Word. We have to uh, go deeper in our serving or, or spend more time just talking to Him, learning about Him, but getting to know Him personally. I don't want us to come to another year and say, why didn't anything change? Let's not be the definition of insanity. If we're going to see change, we need to expect that means we change. We don't want to be deceived. You know, there's a couple things the Bible warns us be careful of. One, don't deceive ourselves and think that we can do one thing and reap something different. We reap what we sow. God says, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he will also reap. So if we want to reap righteousness, if we want to reap a deeper relationship with God, we've got to sow working on that relationship, looking to know him better, looking to know his word better. That's how he reveals himself to us. That might mean going to Wednesday night Bible study or or going to ladies' meeting if you haven't been going, if you're available on Thursdays, or taking a class or two at the college, the Bible college, to go deeper in the Word, to understand it better. Think about doing that. The other thing that goes with that, that we're told not to deceive ourselves, it says in that one I read, just said, was in Galatians 6, 7. This is James one twenty two, where it says, Be doers of the Word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Pastor has been telling us and reminding us that our job is to believe and to obey. And we need to let not just the word be informational, but transformational by what we read, what we see, what we learn, applying it, believing it, and doing it. Then our lives really will change. We will go deeper in our relationship with him. I, I'm not saying we're not believers. I'm saying let's make 2022 a year when we just pursue knowing God more and more. Whatever it takes to do that. Don't just think it'll happen. If we just do the same thing we've always done, we're going to have to change. And we're going to have to do the things that will lead to reaping that harvest of a deeper relationship, of a rela righteousness in him. I encourage you to do that. I'm going to be listening to my Bible reading every day on the MCA app. It's right on the latest tab there, and it will give you, when you just click on it, you can listen to it and look at it at the same time. And by the end of the year, you have gone through the whole Bible. But more than that, just spend some time in the Word getting to know the Lord, getting to know him better, and following after him, believing and doing what his word says. Let's do that more in the new year. Let's end 2021, not just thinking we can, the year's different just because it starts over. But let's do what it takes to see the change we want to see in our lives. I think all of us, I know myself included, we can all go deeper. Let's do what it takes to go deeper in our walk with the Lord. God bless.